Back in the late 90s, Brian Kidd was one of the greatest assistant managers in the English game. Whilst working under Premier League managing legend Alex Ferguson, Kidd was considered the manager for the future. And after the dismal season Rovers endured under Ray Harford, the hierarchy appointed Fergie's understudy to see if he could work his magic as numero uno at Blackburn Rovers. This appointment was a horror story from the get-go, ultimately relegating the former Premier League champions to the second tier. Brian Kidd was a laughingstock. Since those dark times for Rovers, Kidd has returned to what he knows best, being a great number two, now applying his trade at current Premier League champions Manchester City. But what if we could tempt him away once again with the managerial position? Can he learn from his past mistakes and get it right this time around? Will lightning strike twice for Mr. Kidd? Let's find out. Hello folks and welcome back to yet another Football Manager 2018 Blackburn Rovers Managerial Experiment. In these experiments we recreate the 2017-2018 season but with a, an old manager from Blackburn Rovers past. And this time we are really kicking it back. Back to the 90s folks with Brian Kidd. Who remembers Brian Kidd? I do. He was an absolute horror show. But anyway, let's take a look at Mr. Kidd. So here he is as manager of Blackburn Rovers. So he's back again, £12,000 a week, big money. His reputation is not too bad. He's got the statistics uh, pretty decent at this level. In fact, very impressive at this level. Can Mr. Kidd and the likes of uh, Bradley Dack and co get themselves promoted uh, into the championship at the first attempt? I'm just showcasing you the... Uh, the players he has to work with. It's just like everybody else. Bradley Dack valued at 7.5 million. Mulgrew there, 4.7. Lenehan, 4.1. Smallwood, uh, 3.2. And obviously the Lonies, Chapman, Payne, and the like. Corey Evans is there, and he's wanted by Fulham. Ah, interesting, interesting, interesting. So anyway, we're going to recreate the season. We're going to fast forward to the end of May and see how well ex-Fergie assistant slash whatever he was, Ryan Kidd, see how he does back in charge with Blackburn Rovers. <laughs> So here we are, folks, at the 31st of May, 2018, and the season has come to a close. Now we're going to do this a sneaky-beaky way. Obviously, we're trying to see just how far Brian Kidd has, or how well he's done this season as manager of Blackburn Rose. We're going to go via this little sneaky trap door and kind of spring it on you. Boom. Champions. Blackburn Rovers are champions. Now, that could mean a couple of things. It could mean Brian Kidd is a superstar manager at this level and done the business. Or it could mean he got fired and then someone else came in. So let's take a look. Blackburn Rovers here are the squad. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And the overview, Brian Kidd is still in charge. Well done, well done, well done. We'll take a look more at that statistics in just one second. Let's go back and take a look at the table for Brian Kidd. Brian Kidd, wow, wow, wee wow. Wowza. I am actually very impressed with that, st that tally. 100 points. So, Brian Kidd, the understudy of Fergie. I think he's most recently been at Manchester City as an assistant manager or coach or whatever it was. Uh, so, he's been uh, been with the big boys throughout the most of his coaching career. Obviously, he had a little bit of a hiccup when he joined Blackburn Rovers as manager. Didn't really cut it there. But he's back. And he's back with a bang. Look at those tally. That puts him in the likes of Michael Appleton and Gary Bowie. The triple digit figures. That is... That is some crazy stuff. So anyway, let's take a look more at the how Blackburn Rovers got there. How did they fare with him this season? So, top the tally. David Raya was the main man with uh, 53 appearances. Richie Small was in second with 49. Bradley Dack with 46. Jack Payne got 45 appearances. As for Adam Armstrong, he had 41. And that is a big key to the, to the success of Rovers this season. Adam Armstrong, 24 goals this season. Bradley Dack with 17. Dominic Samuel with 11. Danny Graham with 9. And Jack Payne, my best mate, with 6 goals. As for the assist, Bradley Dack tops the tally this time. No Elliot Bennett to be seen. Oh, he is there. He's in there. 12 assists for Dack. 10 for Smallwood. 9 for Armstrong. 8 for Bennett. And Chapman with the 6. As for the best player, Adam Armstrong with 7.16 rating. Bradley Dack's in 2nd with 7.14. Bennett's got 7.06. So does Harry Chapman. And Danny Graham with a 7.05. Let's take a look at their recent schedule. Uh, so, Cabrera Cup. Didn't look good. Knocked out by Berry. As for the FA Cup, uh, took on Scunthorpe. We won. Took on Blackpool. We won. Then we got beat by Watford in the third round. So, we made it to the third round, which is fair dues. And, yeah, the rest of the Cups, pretty, pretty piss poor, to be honest with you. But look at this. A couple of little red splodges in there. But nice, some unbeaten runs going on for Rovers. Uh, let's take a look at how these Rovers fared 
this row was players fed in the uh, the grand scheme of things. Paddy Madden topped the goal scoring charts with 26 goals. Second place was our man Adam Armstrong with 21 goals. Will Grigg who stinks of fish uh, is in third place uh, with 17 goals. James Hansen once again in fourth with 15 goals as does Ofala Olombia with uh, Doncaster. Both have 15 goals. Bradley Dack is joint in joint six with Charlie White and Matt Cullen with 14 goals this season. As for the assists if I can find him. Boom. James Coppinger, 37-year-old James Coppinger, tops the assist with 18. Joe Edwards is in their second spot. From Walsall with 16. Ben Pringle, joint third, alongside Alex Gibley, Max Lowe, Kevin O'Connor with 12 assists. The highest Rovers player is Bradley Dack in eighth place with 10 assists. As for the best player this season, it uh, is Paddy Madden once again with... Um, 7.31 average. Michael Jacobs and Will Grigg are in second and third, respectively, with a 7.26 and 7.25. Jada Silva's in fourth with 17.4. And then again, um, another Wigan player is in fifth place. Rhys James with a 7.19. So let's take a look at, at, actual, at that um, the table. And Wigan did finish second with 85 points. And Fleetwood will be joining them in the championship. But let's go look at the Premier League. Manchester United are champions of England with 89 points. Chelsea's in second with 82. Tottenham and uh, Man City complete the top four. As for the six-fingered banjo players, Burnley, they are 11th. Uh, so an OK season, I guess. I wouldn't be complaining with 11th. Uh, as for the relegation fodder, uh, Watford, Stoke and Crystal Palace complete the bottom three, and they'll be playing alongside Blackman Rovers next season in the Championship. And speaking of the Championship, uh, Jordan Rhodes' Sheffield Wednesday top the table with 83 points. They'll be playing Premier League football. Let's have a look at Jordan Rhodes. My, my, my. My, how the great have fallen. Anyway, uh, they are joined by Brentford and Wolves, who get through on the back door. Unfortunately, Leeds, Villa and Ipswich are the uh, unfortunate souls in the playoff. Sheffield United, Sunderland and Burton will be playing League One football next season. And speaking of League One, we've done it once already, but we didn't really pay attention to the bottom of the table. Bradford City, Rochdale, Blackpool and Southend are relegated to the League Two. Let's go look at League Two. Luton are champions and they will be joined by Coventry and Lincoln. And also Yeovil who sneak through the back door of the playoffs as for the bottom of the table. Newport and Forest Green, Rovers, then Vegans. They are going to play National League football next season. So let's back it up one more time. So, yeah, that wraps up this video. And fair play to Brian Kidd with the 100-point tally. He's now actually in the top three alongside Michael Apperton and Gary Bowyer. Now, I uh, can't really separate the two, so they are now joint second. Um, so fair play. Triple digits. It's a hard accomplishment. Even Tony Mowbray could not get there despite getting 96 points. But anyway, uh, tomorrow the next or the next time we'll do one of these, we're going right old school. We're going to be bringing back another Rovers manager from the past to see what he can do with the 2017-2018 Blackburn Rovers in League One. So if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers.